Today we are looking at hepatitis. Hepatitis, the incidence of hepatitis is on the increase. Both children, youth and adults are getting it. So what is hepatitis? Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver. It is commonly caused by virus. There are, the, there are five main strains of hepatitis virus. You have the hepatitis type A, hepatitis type B, hepatitis type C, hepatitis type D, and hepatitis type E. Why they all cause liver diseases? They differ in important ways, in modes of transmission, severity of sickness, geographical distribution, and prevention methods. Type B and C leads to chronic diseases in hundreds of millions of people, and they are the most common causes of liver cirrhosis, liver cancer, and viral hepatitis-related deaths. Some types of hepatitis are preventable through vaccination. Hepatitis B is a serious liver infection caused by hepatitis B virus that is easily preventable by vaccination. Hepatitis C is a serious liver infection caused by a virus that attacks the liver and leads to liver inflammation. We also have alcoholic hepatitis, which is a liver inflammation caused by drinking too much alcohol. As we have said earlier, hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. The viral infection are the most common cause of hepatitis. We talked about the five classes of hepatitis virus. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis A is the result of an infection with hepatitis A virus. And this type of virus is an acute and short-term disease. Hepatitis B is caused by hepatitis B. It is often an ongoing chronic condition. The Center for Disease Control estimates that around 826,000 people are living with chronic hepatitis B in the U.S. and about 257 million people are living with hepatitis B worldwide. Hepatitis C comes from hepatitis C virus and is one of the most common blood-borne viral infection in the U.S. and typically presents itself as a long-term chronic condition. Americans currently living with this chronic form of infection are so many. Hepatitis D is a rare form of hepatitis infection that are caused in conjunction with hepatitis B. So you cannot contract hepatitis D virus if you already do not have an existing hepatitis B infection. We have hepatitis E, which is a waterborne disease that results from exposure to hepatitis E. Hepatitis E virus is mainly found in areas with poor sanitation and typically results from ingesting fecal matter that contaminate the water supply. So causes of hepatitis diseases. Hepatitis A, exposure to hepatitis virus in food and water. Hepatitis B, contact with hepatitis B in body fluids such as blood, vaginal infection, vaginal secretion and semen. Hepatitis C, the same as contact with bodily fluid, vaginal secretions and semen. Hepatitis D is in contact with blood con containing hepatitis B virus and hepatitis E, you get it from food and water. What are the common symptoms of hepatitis? Usually you have the issues of fatigue, having a flu-like flu -like symptom. There is incidences of dark urine, of a pale stool. You have abdominal pains. There is loss of appetite. There is unexplainable weight loss. You have yellow-like skin and eyes. 
showing signs of jaundice. So when you observe some of these things, it is very critical that you go for a checkup. Meet your healthcare practitioner. Let them check what is causing these things so that it can be neat in the board. Most of the hepatitis infections are easily treatable and they are easily preventable by vaccination, carrying out the diagnosis test on time, education, and other preventable means. Thank you. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bells so that you get our videos as they drop.